Happy World Dog Day, everyone. I'm Molly Argy for Young Hollywood, and this is Sarah Bella. We're hanging out inside Vanderpump Dog, and I'm warning you to be prepared for some major cuteness. Mr. Tolly here, and he's new to Los Angeles. So, Tolly, I'm wondering, what's your favorite thing about the Vanderpump store? You know, Molly, it's really just nice to get your hair did every once in a while. They use that conditioner stuff, man. It's wild. Such a great event. You put so much love and work into the second annual Dog Day. For those that aren't here, what is the most important thing you want people to know about this event? We created this event to really set an example to people worldwide that when you have a dog festival, it shouldn't be about the torture of dogs. It's about adopting dogs out. It's about raising money for VanderpumpDogs.org. I think to date we've been open like 12 weeks and we've already adopted out, I think, 99 dogs. So maybe we'll adopt out 100 and something today. Okay, so you were just adopted today. Yeah, it's awesome! What? does today mean to you? This ice cream cone tastes horrible! We always are trying to promote is really good pet parenting. Uh, I hate to use the word pet ownership because anyone who ha lives with pets knows who owns who. It's parenting. It's parenting. And you know, from my perspective, the owner of 11, well now 10 pets, the bond to me is one of the most important things. And yes, it's okay. I say, if they made a bed bigger than a California king, I can get more. So yes, my pets do sleep in bed with us. And, and I think okay. you have a lot of dogs, right? I do, I do. How many do okay. dogs do you have? Now, four dogs, six cats. So. Woo! And, uh, and I sat a very large bed. All right, Barney, we have a question for you. You're the man of the hour at the moment. What's your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is to chase squirrels in my dreams. Hmm. all about puppy love and at Young Hollywood we love dogs so for those that want to know how they can help what do you think is the biggest thing people can do to help be voices for dogs everywhere um, there's so many things you know adopt I've been guilty of, of shopping before for dogs but we've got such a huge problem in America always spare new to your pets there's so many things but treat them as they deserve to be treated you know the keys are there there's nothing better than sharing your home with a four-legged furry friend so i advise it i recommend it if you're ever thinking about getting a pet think about the right pet for you all right guys we have a lot of dog going on over here this is boss hi boss hey how you doing i'm the boss hi tucker Hi, Tucker. Hey, Molly Argue from Young Hollywood, hi. You're the biggest dog I've seen today at 200 pounds. How does it feel to be the big man in charge? What, that's how much I weigh? Oh, now I'm subconscious. To you, what is the biggest takeaway of World Dog Day? For people that aren't here, what do you want them to know? I want them to know that sharing your home, giving your, your uh, uh, forever home to a pet in need is probably one of the nicest things you could do. There's nothing better than opening your home to a pet. And, uh, Lots of puppy kisses and cuddles and love. Yes, I, I often joke I get more tongue than anybody I know. Well, and lots of cute dogs here today that are ready for some cuddles, even behind us. So thank you for joining us and chatting with us. And hopefully lots of people will come in and, and pick your brain and pick your wisdom. Anytime.